Hey folks, my name is Matt Quinn and welcome to my series on dark sky photography. So in this first episode, I want to talk to you guys about location scouting. So what does that mean anyways, location scouting? And what it means for me is that when I am at home and I'm planning to kind of go out and shoot the night sky and everything looks good, the weather and so on, um, I generally pick a place to go. So like today I'm in Algonquin Park in Ontario, Canada. And the, the thing is though, when you, once you pick a location, where within that place do you find a composition? Where do you find a place to set up and, and uh, you know, get that shot? And there are a lot of details that go into that because of course you need to either, you know, find a place to park your car, find a place to kind of either hike to, how far is the hike? Um, what elements are in that scene that I want to see, you know? So a lot of times there is this kind of like pre-planning about the composition and having certain elements like foregrounds and midgrounds. Um, and I want to talk to you guys all about that, about just how to get to a location, how to find location. You've never been to these places before. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode and really I hope you guys enjoy this whole series on dark sky photography. I'm going to be going through all the ins and outs of all of the aspects of dark sky photography from the gear to the planning to the getting out to nature to what to bring and so on. So subscribe below if you are interested in night sky photography. Thanks so much. So the first thing I do when scouting locations is I'll just look along Google Maps and I'll just kind of scan for locations that I'm looking for. So like today, I'm looking for some open water because a lot of the lakes here in Algonquin are still frozen. So as I pan through the highway here, I'll look for, you know, potential rivers or areas that are flowing um, to see if there might be some open water there that I can go to and have a look. So scanning along here, and once I find a location I, I think might be, might work, I'll zoom in and if there's a road like this one, I'll tap on it and I'll have a look on, in street view. And I'll just kind of scan along street view to see what the surroundings might be like, to see if it might be a potential. And then from here I can, you know, pan around and see, well, maybe there's a spot for me to pull out, maybe there's a spot for me to park etc etc and then from there once I kind of have my location um, picked out and I have a parking spot and all that I'll go into an app called PhotoPills and PhotoPills will allow me to kind of pinpoint a certain location and put my spot on the map like this and what this does is it basically it'll tell me this where the sun set is going to be which is this orange line 
and where the sunrise will be, as well as the Milky Way. So as I start moving this, you'll see these white dots, and that's actually the dots of the Milky Way. And this big dot down here is the actual the core of the Milky Way. So if I'm in a location, I can actually line up, you know, the core of the Milky Way, Milky Way, exactly where I want it to be, and really plan my um, plan my shoots before actually being there you know, at night, because at night you don't really know what you're gonna get. It's, it's a bit of a crapshoot. And if you don't know location very well, then you're probably gonna, you know, maybe have more of a tough time when you get there, or just, you'll have to wing it, which happens from time to time. But, you know, you try to mitigate that by planning a little bit. And once I have a few locations that I really like, um, I'll head out and scout them during the day. And that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna head out and uh, check out these locations that I really liked, about two or three and see what they look like in person and plan for the evening then. So I think I found a really nice spot here. Just walking down. So you can see here, if I go down here, you can see a really nice foreground. There's this nice log here, some grass, beautiful, beautiful water. Some nice trees, an island there. And the Milky Way will come up and it'll be kind of going through the sky like this. So I think this would be a really nice location to capture it. This river here has got a bit of a current to it, so I don't think it's going to get like glass smooth, but still should reflect pretty nicely. Wow, it is absolutely amazing out here today. I cannot tell you enough. This spot is one of my favorite places to shoot here in the, in the park, at least that I'm aware of. Um, this is a, a beautiful open area with this like meandering uh, river and this is south facing as well. So you, the Milky Way will actually rise right between those two trees there and you'll see the core just hovering above the water. And the water, if it stays above zero, the water turns just to absolute glass and it's a perfect, perfect reflection. So yeah, this is, uh, this is why I didn't tend to like to come during the day. Uh, I'd like to just kind of get a, an idea of the composition with the, with the light. Uh, it just gives me an idea again where my footing is as well. Like if I, it's snowy like it is now, you can follow your own footing uh, and you get back to exactly where you were. Um, but you can also look for like, you know, little like traps and hazards like these pools of water. You don't want to step in any of these. Uh, so you can test your way forward and make sure you don't fall in and stuff like that. So it's just a nice way to check it out. And again, just checking it out during the day as well. You could also look for kind of like landmarks that you just wouldn't see at night. So yeah, that's why I tend to like to come during the day. Um, you know, this location is looking pretty amazing. I've shot here a few times, but uh, I think if uh, all else fails, I'll come here tonight. If, uh, if the other location works out, I'll probably shoot there. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. This is the second location and it's another kind of meandering river because while well, the lakes are frozen right now but I think this is going to be a really awesome place because if this water here stays open then it could be really reflective and create some really nice foreground interest in this in this uh, night sky composition. One thing I think to be careful of is right now it's really wet snow and it's really melting, so 
I gotta watch my footing here big time because the last thing I want to do is end up in water because I don't like having soakers but it also it gets down below freezing at night so it's gonna be really cold so yeah so here's this awesome beaver dam here you can see that there and then over here this beautiful open water and the Milky Way is going to be right in there and moving in that direction and I think it'll be an absolutely beautiful composition stunning <laughs> you can actually see some beavers over here you see them I'm gonna go get my big lens and see if I can get a close-up of these guys yeah, so I definitely think I'm coming here tonight. This is really, really cool. If this water, you know, stays this still, it'll probably be more still because, you know, the night tends to be a bit more still, but uh, I think this will be fantastic. So last night uh, was amazing. It was so incredibly clear. I got some absolutely stunning shots of those locations. Um, I didn't go to the Opiango Road location. I actually went to the, the Beaver Dam location with the Windy River. And uh, the shots were phenomenal. So another thing too I should probably mention is that sometimes there are amazing um, locations right under your nose and you don't even see it. Like last night when I got out of my tent, I got up and there's this there's this opening here and the Milky Way core was just perfectly centered right in that spot so needless to say I didn't get to my location so quite quite late but uh, I stayed around camp and I got this really awesome shot of uh, of my campsite with this Milky Way in in this kind of like framed by these these white pines here so when you're out there yes plan um, you know, go location scouting, but always keep your eyes peeled because you never know um, what might, what scene might present itself that needs to be captured. And that's, you know, that's what I really love about this. Sometimes you just have these these kind of moments you just don't, are unexpected. There's there's no expectations around them, and they just appear, and you get to capture them. It's like a little surprise. So uh, that's really cool. But in addition to that. I did get that the composition I was looking at earlier in the day, and I'm really happy with how that turned out. I look forward to getting home later today and kind of having a peek at what I got. But before I do that, I'm going to make some pancakes, and I'm going to chill out a bit more here in Algonquin today, get packed up, and head home. See ya.